guys, it's Sarah. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, we're going to go on a road trip. So I have seen that Bath and Body Works has opened up in the Metro Centre. So I'm just waiting for Alex to come and we're going to have a little road trip and see what bargains I can grab. Um, I know they've got an offer on for four for two. So I know my friend wants some candles. So I'm just going to grab some bits. So come along on this hopefully good mini vlog. <laughs> see you in a bit. Well, uh, we're back from the Metro Centre. Um, I don't know how good the footage is going to be because my cameraman was a bit embarrassed about uh, taking videos in the shop of me. And I, he, <laughs> I'm just laughing because <laughs> 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 he was so close to me at one point. I'm sure my breath almost fogged up the, the video. Also, the lighting in that shop was not flattering, so we'll see whether or not it happens. But anyway, I bought a lot of stuff. They didn't have. I mean, I'll, I'll go through it all, but they didn't have as big of a, not a big range, but maybe not as big as what I'd, I'd hoped. Bigger than when it was in the beauty hall, next beauty hall, but not as not as many as like American scents as I'd hoped for. And it was four for two, but not four for two on everything, which is what I thought it was going to be, because I was going to buy a cacto and a candles. Yeah. Why are you so camera shy? You're so ch you are chatty. I'm tired. I don't know. I don't want anything. You don't want anything. Okay. No, bed. Bed. Not well. Not. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah. We tried to get. Well, we were going to get some footage of us going um, <laughs> to to Metro Centre, uh, but A we forgot, and B my route that I normally go had to change, so I was kind of concentrating. And then uh, we were also going to get some footage of when I pulled up in the uh, Metro Centre. And I uh, was so excited that we just left. Um, so this is probably not the best vlog that there is. Because... <laughs> no <laughs> vlogging. We, yeah. This is what happened when we went to Liverpool, isn't it? Like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do like a lush vlog. Mm. And then it was, it was all filler and no thing. Oh, we I just had a great time instead. <laughs> yes. To be fair, I did get a little, a little bit, we went to Popeyes, didn't we? We went to Popeyes. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Popeyes? Because that uh, opened up in, in not so long ago. I think I want to try the spicy. Spicy bit? Yeah, oh, because it, it, was, it was very substantial, very greasy, so I couldn't finish it. Yeah. Um, not as flavorful as I was hoping, but I've got a blocked nose, so that might account for yeah. that. Um, so you had the chicken burger, and then you, you ordered the, the, the Cajun fries, and you got a chocolate sundae, and I ordered the two-piece, like, we all just ordered, like, the regular flavor, not spicy or anything, um, two-piece chicken, and I ordered regular fries, not Cajun, because I'm a bit, I don't always know if I like Cajun, and then a, an Oreo sundae, and we both got Cajun fries, or both got regular fries, I don't know which one's which, but they tasted like when you get curly fries, um, or like waffle fries. Mm. Um, and my chicken was lovely. Like that's like, the first bit was lovely, so juicy. It wasn't, you were right though, it was a bit bland though. Mm -hmm. um, and then my second piece was so oily, I felt sick. I think so the, I couldn't, um, I, I couldn't eat all. Yeah, I think the, uh, 
spicy stuff might be worth a try. But as as it's kind of default, I found it less tasty than KFC. <laughs> yes, yeah, and it was, and I think it was more expensive. Than yeah. KFC. And, uh, oh yeah, it's way Sunday, more expensive than KFC. The Sunday was not good. You got a, got a three piece or something, didn't two. you? Two. Two piece with chips. I got a burger with chips. It was like, what, 27 quid? 22. 22, all oh, right, okay. So it was cheaper than Five Guys. Yeah, yeah it's definitely, I don't, do you know what it is, all right? And I said to you, oh, I don't think I could eat the Five Guys because I think it would have been too heavy. Mm. But that was really heavy. Yeah, it's just like 40% oil. Was, I literally cannot fault how hot it was, though, because that was, that was like, it was freaking piping. Yeah. <laughs> chips weren't as good as Five Guys. I don't mm, think. The chips were, like, cold. Like, considering how hot the chicken was, the chips weren't there, but... What would you give it out of 10? Cause... Um, I'll say six or seven. I, I, I don't want to be too harsh on it because I've got a cold and I know that'll probably be affecting my uh, sense of taste a bit. Yeah. I'll give it, I'll give it about a seven because, like, that one, the one bit of chicken I had, like, was, it was, like, the juiciest bit of fried chicken I've ever had in my entire life. It was... Unreal. I just wish that it. I know obviously Popeyes, but I kind of wished it tasted more like KFC. Mm -hmm. um, I was just thinking, I wish I was eating KFC through the entire thing. <laughs> well, I got, I was saying to you, I got Jolly Bee when it first opened in Newcastle and it was absolute pandemonium getting it. Is that still open? Yeah, it is. So it might, might be one to revisit. Um, and I found that to be the, the chicken from Popeyes, it was better quality than. Jolly Bee. This is this is supposed to be a Bath and Body Works vlog. It's Jolly Bee about... chicken. Okay, yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 from the Philippines. Wait, we're supposed to be talking about Bath and Body Works. Well, I know. <laughs> I've now gone into a full Popeyes review. I didn't want to record Sarah because I, in case I come came off as a weird, recordy camera guy in a women's shop thing, which is why I was yeah, right no, up I in her face. Yeah, I get that. But like, honestly, you were so close to my face. Was... Anyway, I went to Jolly Bee. And you could see each strand of hair on your skin. Yes, you could literally see every open pore on my face. Yeah. Um, and I find, yeah, like Popeye's chicken's better quite than Jolly Bee's. Jolly Bee's was like not the best. Um, and again, very bland. Mm. I thought, but maybe. Anyway, back to Body Works. What, Bath and Body Works? Bath and Body Works. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's all you, Sarah, because I. It was, it was some interesting smells. You and then there was feeling very uncomfortable and claustrophobic. That's my entire bad Bath and Body Works <laughs> experience. Well, it's just a small shop. It's just a corner. I mean, it literally looks like it's like a small version of the one in America. Um, I like it. It's a nice shop. It's I, I know Bath and Body Works is expensive. Um, I spent eight pounds. Filled with very serious-looking women. Very I just didn't think they had a lot of staff for how busy it was. Like, they had one guy on the tail, and they had three other members of staff. And I just felt like it was a bit. But then, then if you're filling the shop with staff, like it's a small shop. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to try. Okay, guys, I'm back. It is the next day. Because by the time that I got back and made dinner, it was quite late and it was dark. And I thought, I want to be able to show you everything I got in the daylight. So, we've got one bag. That's not like Count, Count Dracula? Two bags uh, 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 um, of products. Uh, I'm just going to say right now, Karen, if you're watching this, um, can you just not look? Because there is something in here for you. So the offer was um, four for two across body. I wish it had been four for two across everything, but I think because the store just opened, maybe that would be why, maybe the shop would have been cleared out. Um, I just see like the promotions that the US do, 40% off everything, 2.95 hand washes, things like that. I just wish that we got something like that on the day, but maybe that's something that next Christmas will happen. So anyway, I got, ooh, put this down here. Four hand washes. I love the foaming hand wash. They are quite, I find them quite drying, but I love how foamy they are at the same time. So I got fresh sparkling snow, I got champagne toast, I got winter citrus, and I got strawberry snowflakes. The packaging is really nice. 
So that's that one. Cute little people ski skiing, skating. Uh, you got a little lady walking her doggy. And we got a little penguin on a sled. So I really like these. They are, like I said, they are super foamy. Strawberry, does it have the, the scent? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna just open them up and have a smell. This one's my favorite, actually, and I didn't think, oh, it smells so good. It smells literally like sweet strawberries. I think it's nicer than the strawberry pound cake smell. Winter citrus reef. I like anything with, oh my God, anything with pine, things like that. Um, it has that kind of, pine sort of a smell but with like a citrusy sort of kick to it which I really like. It's oh there we go. Um, it says balsam reef fresh citrus and forest breeze. Does this have a notes? It doesn't have a notes on it. Um, champagne toast is bubbly champagne sparkling berries juicy tangerine. Now I don't oh cack I don't like champagne but I do like the smell of this and this reminds me a lot of um, something by Ch Champneys or Champneys, whatever it's called. Um, they used to do like really nice body scrubs and bubble baths at Boots, um, and it remind that it reminds me of one of the smells from Champneys that is leaking everywhere now. Oops. And then you've got fresh sparkling snow, and this is icy melon, holiday pear, and falling snow. You can definitely smell the melon in this one. And even though I'm not, I love to eat melon, but I'm not a great. I'm not into like melon smells I do like how fresh that is it's lovely so that's those there and they were get my receipt the hand washes were 4.75 each I think yes then I got some body sprays so I got joy and I got peace they also have hope and another one. So the Joy is Sugared Snickerdoodle. This one was really popular. Really, really popular. Um, and I actually had to ask a lady to go grab me some um, because there was none out. But they do this in a shower gel and a body lotion as well. And it's um, Snickerdoodle Spice, whichever, whatever a Snickerdoodle is, uh, creamy vanilla and sugared musk. And then I'm going to give this to my friend Karen for Christmas because she loves sweet stuff. And then I've got Peace which is iced raspberry bellini and this reminds me a lot of let's put some like 90s body shop um victoria secrets love spell maybe a little bit of hollister it's definitely 90s body shop for sure but it's lovely and this is chill prosecco sparkling raspberry with a citrus twist it's lovely really fresh I like these kind of smells and I love the packaging for these as well. And they're $16.50 each for the body sprays for 236 mil. So kind of expensive. So, you know, and I feel like now I wish I'd worked out my four for twos better. So put more of the expensive stuff together to get some more of the cheaper but more expensive free stuff for free. Um, but that's on me. Then I got two shower gels because you know you can never have enough shower gels this is the um kind of all year round japanese cherry blossom with aloe and vitamin e um alex really likes cherry blossom smells so he this is pretty much for him um it's going to be like the always in the shower shower gel we have we have two at the moment we have sleepy and we have sticky dates but this is I'm going to take out sticky dates and put this in instead and this has notes of Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine and blushing sandalwood so if anybody's thinking does this smell a little bit like sakura or rub 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 no it's not the same it's definitely sweeter and more powdery it's lovely it's a lovely smell but if you like those kind of like kind of light floral smells you're probably gonna really like this then there was winter peach marshmallow and um, this is from the hope love this I can't even smell it now it smells so many things it's really fresh and fruity but like sweet um, and this has got velvet peach vanilla meringue and creamy jasmine now I'm not a big kind of like vanilla I love vanilla perfume I'm not like a big like um, artificial vanilla sort of a smell but this is really nice it doesn't smell too sickly so I've got that and then the last thing I got is the uh, tree farm scented candle uh, oh these shower gels dare I say the shower gels were 16 pounds my god 
for 295 mils. Oh, well, that's about the same price as a lush one, I suppose. Um, and then you've got the Tree Farm Candle. And these, like I say, weren't on offer, which is such a shame because I would have bought more had they been on offer. And it's a three-week candle, and it literally smells like walking through a pine forest. It's absolutely divine. I have these things that I put on my tree called sensicles that make your Christmas tree smell like a Christmas tree if you have a fake one and it smells just like them. So I love pine. I love anything like pine. So if you like fresh as, you're going to enjoy that essentially. And this candle was $29.50. So it's a very expensive candle. So maybe... I normally do do like a TK Maxx, I am a more of a TK Maxx kind of a person when it comes to candles, but the Bath and Body Work candles are very strong. Um, they don't have all the smells that they have in America, which kind of in one sense makes sense because obviously it's just a small store, it's just opened up, but I was expecting more of the American smells. Um, my friend Karen really loves, th they had one called Parisian Cafe and like a hot chocolate one. I didn't have any coffee or chocolate smells, but maybe that's something that will, will come in the future. But overall, really liked it. The store is really lovely. Um, so if you are in the area, go to the Metro Centre and check out Bath & Body Works. And yes, I hope you um, enjoyed my version of a vlog. Um, it obviously, as always, it never goes to plan. It never goes to plan. Uh, and I hope you like the mini kind of Popeyes review as well. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. Uh, ring that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I do post on there as well. I'm trying to post more on TikTok. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.